Hello Munchkins, I hope you are doing good. Today I have a special guest. She is Hannah. Hi everyone. And we live here in Oaxaca, um, but she's from Spain and I'm from Mexico. And we decided to make this video so we can see some difference in expressions we have and they are totally different and sometimes it's even hard for me to understand what she means because it's really different. Okay, so we have 10. 10. 10 expressions or just words and we're gonna, yeah, we're Let's gonna start. see how, <laughs> how fun this can be, okay? So the first two are gonna be agarrar and that's the Mexican word and the Spanish word is? Coger. But you cannot say coger in Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> unless you actually refer to that because agarrar means to take something and coger means the same in Spain but in Mexico means to fuck, so probably that's something that you wanna, you don't wanna be saying around everywhere. <laughs> okay, so tell us an expression that sometimes you, well, or it's really usual for you in Spain to say with coger and for us is like. Um, for instance, I would say, uh, voy a coger el metro. Okay. So I'm gonna fuck the <laughs> metro or the yeah. tube. <laughs> Okay, so the first time you hear you were here in Mexico and you say an expression with coger, people saw you like weird. Uh, I mean, I already knew this oh, was okay. a term that we shouldn't use, but inevitably you use it sometimes. Yeah, exactly. And some people make comments. Yeah, sometimes. but they, you you felt like they actually <laughs> look at you weird, or it was, or yeah. they catch it and they were like, well, oh, they, she's not from. Me. Yeah, they understand, but still, it's you you can tell it's weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. And what has been the expression with agarrar that you, it was kind of like hard for you to understand. It was like, what? What is that? So the thing is, agarrar in, Sp in Spain means like to hold something tight. Like, agarrame eso. So don't let it escape. Like, okay, hold it okay. tight. So for me, agarrar means like, okay, I'm gonna really hold into it and, and yeah. not let it go. Uh, that's the only way, but we also use agarrar. Agarrar. Just, just we don't use agarrar el tren or agarrar el autobús. And actually the funny thing is like we use tomar el tren, to take uh, the train. We don't even say agarrar el tren. Okay, interesting. Yeah. That's another interesting word. You say tomar, <laughs> which here means drink, and in Spain uh, we say beber. Oh yeah, here yeah, here we, yeah, we yeah. use, it's kind of weird to hear someone say, quiero beber uh, soda uh, mm -hmm. porque, um, because we also don't say soda we say refresco mm -hmm. so it's yeah it's really different yeah agarrar it's more kind of like hold this agarra esto hmm. yeah it can be either agarrar o sostener to hold yeah. yeah okay siguiente cachar no cacho <laughs> Cachar y pillar, it's the Spanish version. When you don't understand something, you can say, no cacho. In, in Spain you say, no lo pillo, I don't get it. Yeah, I don't understand, like, I, I don't get I it. Don't get it. Yeah. Cachas, cacha? Yeah, yeah. cachas. <laughs> and you were like... <laughs> <laughs> in Spanish we also say a word that's captar. Lo captas, lo pillas. Oh, so okay. It's a bit more similar. We don't use captar that much. Captar. No, mm -hmm. no, no. And I have here pillar. I think it's one of those words that people from Spain use a lot. Mm -hmm. Pillar, Lo pillar. Pillas. Or even like sometimes you say pille, no? When you find someone doing something. Lo pille. Uh, lo pille, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, you don't use it here in Mexico. We use also cachar. Oh, lo, lo caché. caché. Like, <laughs> ah. like when you, when you found your boyfriend with someone ah. else, lo caché con ah. alguien. <laughs> Allá lo pillé, lo yeah. pillé con las manos en la masa. Sí, lo caché con las manos en la masa. Siguiente, neta. ¿En serio? I don't think that everyone says neta, but at least in the center of Mexico we say a lot. I've heard it a neta. lot here in, yeah. in Oaxaca. Neta. It's funny because in Catalan, which is my mother tongue, neta means clean. Oh, <laughs> okay, interesante. But that's a completely different story, but no, yeah. it's, it's Spain, yeah, of course. Yeah, neta en, en serio means really? Neta? Mm -hmm. En serio? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we use more neta, way more than en serio. Some mm -hmm. people can say en serio, pero neta. Es neta. <laughs> neta. Descompuesto y estropeado. 
It's when something uh, breaks down, descomponerse. Mm -hmm. So that's for us, descomponerse mm -hmm. o estropearse. It's really funny for me when I hear like mi, mi carro se descompuso. Because um, for us, descompuso is like something that melts or okay. you know, it's something you can eat or something like that. that turns oh, bad. It's oh, like okay. turning bad. We can say descompuesto either with food or when something breaks down. We don't really use estropearse with other mm -hmm. things. Okay. No. Siguiente. Oh, you say that this one, you never hear that before, no? no. Que gandalla eres? No. In, in Spain? Say, que morro tienes? And you also do this? Yeah, que morro oh my tienes? god, no. We, I, I never hear that before. <laughs> like, I was like, what did you say? <laughs> what? Que morro tienes? Porque, because morro here, it's kind of like kid. Tu morro. Oh. Yeah. So. Like a kid, un morro. Uh -huh. ah. Tengo un morro, un morrito. Yeah. Like either in Spain, way. morro means like the nose, like for a pig, su morro or oh. something like this. So it means like you have a lot of face. Oh. Tienes and mucha cara, which is the same, which means, yeah. Yeah, like, interesting. Like to get, you take advantage of a situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and for us, uh, morro, it's a, it's a kid or a, it's super informal. Like it's. Mm. Not just informal, but it's really like slang. So, mm -hmm. morro, mm -hmm. el morro, morrito. Can be, can be like a kid if you say, tengo, cuantos morritos tienes? Mm -hmm. It's like, how many kids do you have? Mm -hmm. But you can also kind of say like, mi morro, and it's like my boyfriend, oh, or mi morra, okay. my girlfriend. Okay. And, and, and. So when you say that, I was like, tengo, mo tienes mucho morro. <laughs> you have a lot of boyfriends. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wow, I like that one. <laughs> And this boat means like, yeah, when you take advantage. Close to where I live, uh, there are a couple of like stray puppies and we take care of them. And there is one that we actually name him Gandaya oh. because he he <laughs> is always like stealing the food from from um, his brothers. And you know, he's an actual Gandaya. He, yeah, he's mean. <laughs> you just say like, ¿Qué morro tienes? <laughs> ¿Qué morro tienes? And you always have to use no, do this. No, you don't have to. You don't say it, but you are just looking at someone you can do this tienes? and they will know that sí. means, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, now that we're talking about gestures, I think we need to talk about the Mexican finger to say uh, yes. yeah! Because <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. But you know what, actually? You will be totally impressed because I have traveled to other states in Mexico uh -huh. and they get impressed for like, really? uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I something that, that more Mexican. in the center. No, no, no. Oh. It's like no everywhere. Oh. This is super like, I think it's more from Puebla. Cause I, I think at the first time someone told me like, I, would, I did this and they were like, you're from Puebla. And I was like, wow, you're weird. <laughs> they were like, that I just saw it in Puebla. I think now it's a little bit more like... I've seen it in Mexico City yeah, well, and, uh -huh. and Oaxaca. Well, Mexico City right now and Puebla, they're really close. And mm -hmm. I heard that um, the first time like a couple of years ago. But yeah, we have this means yes and this means no. We also use this as no, yeah. but we never thought of using this as yes. <laughs> yeah. If you change the movement. It makes sense because it's like no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Last time I was eating something and someone was talking to me and you know, it's super helpful because I was eating and yeah. yeah, you answered the question. <laughs> yeah, the first time people see that, it's, uh, they uh, always are like, are you saying yes with your finger? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes, it's easy. No? Okay, next one, it's... Uh, uh, which one is Atascarse. It? Okay, yeah, atascarse. And I would say, ponerse tibio, ponerse morado. Okay. Which is eating a lot. Yeah. It's, uh, that one is super interesting how you say ponerse morado, mm -hmm. because the only time when we say like se está poniendo morado is when someone actually is like cannot breathe, and you oh, can say like, like se está little, poniendo, little, yeah, little 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 turning, they are turning, turning purple. violet and purple, yeah. Yeah, 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 so for me it's like, en ponerse tibio, it's more, you know, when you are dead, actually your body is kind of, <laughs> it's very literal. Yeah, yeah, exactly, so for me saying like se está poniendo morado, <laughs> o se está poniendo tibio, like, Okay, so it's, it's gonna die. <laughs> okay, and how that sound for you, atascarse? Atascarse, for me, it's like the road or 
or maybe uh, um, I don't know the the toilet se atascó. Okay, we we say for the toilet se tapó. Ah, se tapó. Yeah. Okay, no pero se atascarse. At yeah, pero pero atascarse puedes decir me quedé atascado en el tráfico. Yes. Yeah. If I say, for example, ayer me di un atascón o ayer me atasqué. I would I would understand you were on, in traffic. Oh, okay. But if I say me di un atascón. No, Be I wouldn't no, understand. You wouldn't understand. Okay. Oh, in Spain we say atracón, darse un atracón. Es un poco similar, yeah. but no, we say atascarse. Me di un atascón. No. Like, and you say, so you say, me puse tibio? O me sí. estoy poniendo sí, tibio? Sí, me estoy poniendo tibia. Like, <laughs> it is <laughs> Wow. Me estoy poniendo tibia, o me estoy poniendo morada? Mm. Yeah, you could use it. It's more like se puso morado. Se like, puso morado, yeah. it's like in Talking past. about someone else, I think. Oh, but, but okay. it's pretty. Siguiente. This one, I love it. A huevo, a huevo sí. A huevo, a huevo. <laughs> <laughs> Buenísima, it's, it's really yeah. good. In Spanish, sí. we say, vale, sí. Vale, sí. Um, but a huevo, it's like... Egg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also like so, so funny. Yeah, and you're like super convinced. Mm -hmm. No, it's like, it's like, yes, I would do it. Like, yeah, you, for sure. you could totally understand yeah, it, vamos. the feelings. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, a huevo, it's another way to say yes, but uh, with a lot of feeling. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, uh, you could hell totally yeah. feel it. Yeah, like, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, a hell yeah. A huevo, a huevo. <laughs> Hanna, vamos a ir a la playa el fin de semana. A huevo. A huevo. And you can even say a huevo que sí. To make it even like <laughs> more intense. <laughs> a huevo que sí. Vale is good. I use a lot vale, like lately, vale. But I, I feel love like it's it here. Like... In Mexico, you say va. Ah, yeah. And yeah. I love va. it because it's so much shorter and less effort, so I use it all the time. Va. Va, va, va. Va, va, va. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but we don't say one. We say va, 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 va. va. <laughs> Yeah, if it's not many times, you know, you have to repeat. They told me that ahorita, you don't use it, no, never, no, ahorita it's no. like... Ahorita is like little, little now. Yeah, it's, it's super funny, it's like a funny, um, but I don't know if you knew this, but for example, if you say ahorita, you know that can happen now or never. But if you say more ahorita, it means like it's closer to now. So if you say ahorita, ahorita, uh -huh. means like... Oh, so you say it twice, it means it <laughs> may happen? Yeah. Oh, wow. If you know. say, for example, like, uh, if I go and I order something, ahorita te lo traigo. I can yeah. say, ahorita, ahorita, o ahorita, después. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, and it, no, ahorita, ahorita. It means, okay. like, yeah, it's okay. coming soon, yeah. So, okay. if you... Good add, to know. I'm going to ask that next time I yeah. go to the restaurant. And you can just even say, ahorita, ahorita, <laughs> and... Because last time I ordered something, they told me, like, ahorita. And I was thinking more, and I was like... I can imagine someone from other culture arriving saying like they say ahorita and they're like okay no okay, just and now. they wait like five ten minutes and it's like <laughs> this what's going on yeah. siguiente güey tío tía it's kind of like bro yeah yeah like, yeah and it's buddy. funny because uh, we in Spain we say tío which means uncle or yeah tía and and people are like very surprised here in Mexico it's like but. Is he your uncle or yeah. is yeah, he just yeah, yeah. a friend? You know what actually happens here? I think in the north people call themselves more like primo or prima, ah. even if they are not it's like primo. Okay, mi primo. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay. I remember that a couple of years when this started about the weight thing, it was not really nice and polite to call your your f like if you were a guy and you wanted to call your girlfriend like your female friend way it was not like super nice but right now actually everyone calls like way or, you know it's, like, it's become like a common word yeah it's really common like you're not offending anyone it's, que pasa way yeah. que pasa way <laughs> que pedo way <laughs> que pedo way <laughs> que pedo way <laughs> vamos por una chela venga te invito a una birra <laughs> <laughs> i think it's not that hard to understand la, la birra but for example have you ever heard uh, the word birria Yes, and I was very confused. <laughs> <laughs> birria, it's a type of, like, it's meat, and birria is the way they um, cook that. So, birria, and people say that it's really good. And when I used to eat meat, it was actually really good. La birria. Mm -hmm. Y la birra. Las birras. Uh, las birras. Cervezas. Oh, you say las heladas? No. No. No, 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 I don't know mm -hmm. where that, but see. Sí. No, we say chelas 
or you know the big ones how do you call the big kawamans, ones that you call kawamas yeah uh, we don't have that word you don't have no. that well <laughs> the kawamas are great then uh we call them either kawamas or megas mm-hmm. and some people start calling them kawasakis oh, las kawasakis, kawasakis. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, unas chelitas. And yeah, well, chela and birra, it's a beer. And mm-hmm. yeah, it's not, I think it's not that different. Im- important word to learn. Sí, yeah, yeah. Like the, I think it's probably one of the first words people learn coming to Mexico. Yes. Now that you chela. said Kawasaki, that made me think of the word halo that you ah, use sí. and that you change the word. And I think that's hilarious. So when you say halo in Mexico, it means like, yeah, I'm, I'm coming. I mean, I yeah. mean, in Spain, we would say me apunto. Oh, yeah, me apunto. Me apunto. But here in Mexico, I think it's so funny that you use words that start with the same words. And, yeah. then, and then it means the same like Jalisco. Yeah, Jalisco. Halloween. Are you Halloween. 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 <laughs> Halloween. Halalaco. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hilarious. I love that. Yeah, actually... That is like how people speak more like in Mexico City, los Uh chilangos. Uh They speak in a really interesting way because they use words that are not, they don't mean that, but Mm -hmm. just because they are kind of like a rhyme or they sound the same. Mm -hmm. And so (laughs) I remember that my mom used to say a phrase that it was... uh, Que milaneses, que no visteses, yo claritines, que tu moronga. (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> that's how everyone and, and like I don't know if you have seen those memes that say like a gringo is saying like oh now I just finished my Spanish course I'm gonna go to Mexico and they go and then they did like people from Mexico City say that phrase and they're like what and the rest of Mexico are like what it's it they yeah they speak like that that's why everyone makes fun of them because sometimes it's hard to understand. Because they use that kind of things. It's like instead of saying like "halo," we say like "Jalisco." Jalisco. You know, and it's like "¿Qué onda? Jalas? Jalisco." I love it. Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Qué milanesas? What it's like it "¿Qué onda? ¿Qué milagro?" Oh. So such a miracle. So oh. "¿Qué milanesas? ¿Qué no oh. visteces?" O "¿Qué no te visteces?" So it's oh. like such a miracle that I'm I'm seeing you right now oh. because I haven't seen you in a while. Oh. <laughs> so "¿Qué milanesas?" I would have never guessed that. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Que milanesas, que no viste yo claritine. So I was sure que tu moronga, that you were dead. Estaba tibia. <laughs> okay, so after that. Yeah, these are two expressions that I love. Yeah. And that I had never heard before coming to Mexico. Oh, and interesting. I thought I would know these kind of expressions because, you know, like way or ahorita, these are kind of Mexican expressions that you know, mm-hmm. but I never heard que chido or que chingón. Oh, wow. Interesting. Because chido and chingón, you use them for a lot of yeah, things. Yeah. Every- yeah. yeah, we just say que guay. <laughs> yeah, que guay. But I like que guay. I, I really like que guay. And because it's not just the expression, but the pronunciation, que guay. Que guay. And you can also like, que guay. <laughs> you really look super wise in doing that. <laughs> que guay. I, I love that one too. Okay, siguiente. Chamarra. Okay, this is the last one actually. Mm. Yeah. Our last two words. Chamarra y... Chaqueta. Chaqueta. Ponerse la chaqueta. Ponerse la chaqueta. <laughs> well, this is a... Yeah, this is a funny one. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. I learned it. I learned it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I learned a, it wasn't a good idea to say chaqueta. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah, no, it's, a, it's not a good one. So we have to tell them what, what that means. So and, in Spain, it means jacket. Or, yeah. Yeah, and so I just, mean, chamarra also like means chamarra. jacket, but... I mean, chaqueta also means uh, a hand job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so here in Mexico. So don't use that word. No, you, you, you don't <laughs> use that one. And, uh, <clears throat> but you, to say that, you use paja, no? Sí. Yeah, so, yeah, don't use paja in Spain and don't use chaqueta in Mexico. <laughs> Unless you want to sound like a totally weirdo. Yeah? Okay. yeah. If, if Unless you mean it. Yeah, yeah, but you know, just <laughs> with your friends. Not. Yeah, <laughs> don't don't be in the metro saying, "Me hice una chaqueta." That would be super weird. <laughs> 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 yeah, 
Yeah, no, and never, never ask someone, ¿Quieres una chaqueta? That would be like super bad. ¿Quieres, oh my God. ¿Quieres mi chaqueta? No, oh, no, 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 no. I cannot imagine. Oh my God. Girls, don't, don't ever say jacket. that. Don't ever say that. Don't ever say that. Ever, ever, ever. Because, well, even for guys, it also will be bad. But oh my, oh no, I can't. No. Don't say chaqueta in Mexico. Ever, ever. We say chamarra. Chamarra. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just. Yeah, stick with that one. <laughs> In this case, it's really important that you don't say chaqueta. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if there's another word that we could use in both countries because chamarra, you, if you say chamarra in Spain, no one will understand what you're talking about. Oh yeah, also you say the, no, no, that's, that's from Argentina, no? Ramera? Ramera La, is yeah. Argentina. Is yeah. what, what about, oh yeah, but what about the jeans? You use jeans? Tejanos. We don't say that. No. Los tejanos. No. no. Puedes tejanos. decir pantalones o jeans o pantalones jeans? de mezclilla. I mean, mezclilla. Sí. Mezclilla. No. Yeah, because that's the that's the fabric. Ah. Mezclilla. No, we say tejanos. Los tejanos. I haven't heard that before. But well, no. we can also understand jeans. Unos jeans. Yeah, yeah, and we say more jeans. Oh, mm -hmm. so chamarra is something like super weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. And what about the t-shirt or like a top? Oh, How do you camiseta. We use camiseta, but that one is like, you know, the guys normally sometimes they wear something on their... Camiseta interior? Yeah. Because ah, here see. you say playera, which is super funny to me. Why? Playera it means like from the beach, like beach, <laughs> beach something. <laughs> well, it's not playera. Yeah. I'm like, are you on the beach? No. <laughs> no, but we say playera all the time. Playera, yeah. yeah. T-shirt. It is apparently all t-shirts are from the beach. In, yeah, in, in Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, playera. <laughs> yeah, because but for example, playera is normally for guys, and this is in a blusa. Blusa? Sí. Oh, blusa is like a blues. In, sí. In, in, so you have to have buttons. No, 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 no. Oh. Blues is more for girls. It, it doesn't matter if has oh, buttons. Okay. No, no, no. The ones that has to have them, it's camisa. Yeah, but camisa. So camisa can be for men and women, and blusa is only for women, and usually yeah. it's a softer fabric. Yeah. And still have buttons. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Because uh, cam camisa is for men or women, mm -hmm. but blue side just for okay. for women. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I a think lot I, of new words. Yeah, a lot of new words. Um, we hope that you enjoyed this video. We learned a lot. No, I mm -hmm. feel like I just learned a lot about <laughs> about about Spanish from Spain and it's really interesting because when I went I didn't feel that the difference was that much. No, it's not like I can understand everything, maybe some expressions, but by context you understand what yeah. it means, so it's not really that hard. Yeah, I think it's not that hard, but when you actually start talking with your friends about expressions and what they mm -hmm. mean, you realize how we speak the same language, but it's not the same. No, there's pretty, yeah. yeah. There's, yeah. There's a lot of words here in Mexico that I can tell come from English. Yeah. Like um, one that really upsets me <laughs> a lot is uh, remover, which okay. here in Mexico means to remove, basically, but in Spain it means to steer, remover. Oh, wow. So, yeah, the first time that I heard use remover, for something that wasn't to steer, I was very upset. I'm like, this is a different word. It means something different. Yeah, <laughs> but actually, for example, remover, we don't use that one that much. We, sí, use, remover more, algo. we, say, we use more quitar. Quitar, 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 eliminar. Quitar is like, we use it way more mm. than remover. Yeah, that's a funny. Yeah. But how do you say aguacate? Aguacate. aguacate? Sí. Yeah. Mm. But here you say cacahuate, ah. and I say cacahuete. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but that one is kind of like in French. Awe. Yeah. The cacahuete. Like, yeah. Cacahuete. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's more French. Yeah, the cacahuete is French and cacahuate. Cacahuate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mani? Ustedes no dicen no. mani, no? Who say mani then? Ar no, Argentina? I think uh, I heard mani in Cuba for sure. And I think, yeah, probably, I think Argentina, probably yeah. South America. Yeah, they use yeah because Argen, um, Argentina was to say palta, palta for the aguacate. Yeah. I remember when I traveled to Chile, um, there was a menu on the board and it said um, palta sandwich. 
And I was like, what is palta? And they were like, it's something green. And I'm like, something green? <laughs> okay, I don't know. And then when I saw it, I'm like, oh, aguacate. Si, sí, yeah, yeah, no, it's interesting. Also, I think, uh, what about uh, fresas? I know Fresa. they're, they're... Oh, yeah. Uh, you have another name for fresas? No, but here fresa means like posh. Posh? Cuando algo es fresa, es muy fresa, uh, es like kind posh. Kind of fancy or... Yeah, fancy. Sí. Fancy. Posh. Posh. Yeah. But the, um, but also like the fresas, how you call them? Also we fresas? call fresas, but I think <coughs> in in Argentina they say frutilla. Sí, las frutillas. Las oh frutillas. my God, las frutillas, las benditas frutillas. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they change. But we a say lot. fresa. Fresas. Ah, yeah, and we use fresa when someone is like, I don't like this, I don't yeah, like that. Ah, uh, sí, mm -hmm. fresas. Well, that was, uh, this is the second time we're going to say bye. And, uh, we're trying to finish this. Yeah, video. we're trying to finish it. <laughs> and uh, just one more thing. There is a phrase in Mexico and we say, El que mucho se despide, pocas ganas tiene de irse. Oh, I so, love that. The one who says bye a lot of times is because they don't want to like leave, you know? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's sad. And well, we hope you like this video and we learn a lot. We hope that you also learn a lot. And yeah, well, we're gonna keep looking for other expressions and see if eventually we can make a video with other people from other countries and see how different can be. Exactly. And, yeah. and you can leave comments if you can think of other words or expressions. That oh yeah, that would be that great. Different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, if you have been here in Mexico or in Spain, uh, things that you heard and yeah. Let us know. Okay, well, <laughs> bye. Bye, thank you, bye bye.